Hello there. So I was recently in London, in England, and I decided to do a little shopping. So I went to a pound land and I picked up uh, one of these bulbs here. These were a pound each, so it comes out to be about a dollar forty. Not bad considering in the UK there's twenty percent tax on everything you buy, so that pound actually included a tax. Uh, so I picked one of these up, and of course, um, this is one of those GU10 bulbs. Let's take a look at it inside here. Let's see here. GU10 means halogen replacement. There it is. Um, now, of course, this is a 5-watt one, uh, which they claim, well, they just say 5 watts. Oh, 330 lumens. Now, 240 volts, of course, this is what it's made to, to run on. And we know this is a capacitive dropper uh, power supply, so very, very inexpensive and cheap. Um, Big Clive has taken these apart and possibly others so you can see they're very cheap construction but I mean you know it's a plastic body but pretty hard uh, it seems decent the lens which is slightly frosted but you can see the chips in there and a little bit of passives in there I suppose but I was always curious what happens if you try to run one of these on 120 volts so I'm in the US and um, unfortunately I don't have a handy socket here so um, I've rigged one of these up. Uh, do not try this at home. This is not particularly safe. But uh, there we go. <laughs> I have two clip leads hooked up. Uh, uh, it's not live right now. This is disconnected. And um, I'm going to plug this in and we're going to see what happens. Uh, possibly nothing. I'm kind of betting that nothing's going to happen. Uh, the, the capacitive dropper will have the voltage too low to drive these, uh, the circuit board with the chips on it there. And uh, pretty much nothing's going to happen. But I guess we're going to find out. There could be sparks in an explosion. Ah, there we are. So interesting. Um, it actually does light up. And uh, let me turn off these overhead lights here. So that is interesting. Um, there's light coming out of it. I'd say not much. Um, it's very so it's a it's a nice white color, and uh, there's no flicker that I can discern. I mean, of course, 60 hertz here. So if it's if we're rectified full wave, then we're going to get 120 hertz, and there's like you know a tiny smoothing capacitor. But that's interesting. Um, it's it's decent. Now, it's very very dim. <laughs> I would say you're not getting much brightness out of this. Um, if you put these in your kitchen. You'd probably need a very a lot of them to generate enough light to work under, but um, as a as a very dim light, this is actually not bad. And I would imagine uh, this doesn't use up much power. Let's let's take a look and see if we can figure out how much power it's going to use. So let me plug it and get the power meter out. Should have had this out already, I apologize for that. But I'm gonna plug in my kilowatt here. I can't do it on camera, unfortunately. All right, here we go. Kilowatt. Okay, so it doesn't actually register any anything on the kilowatt. Let's take a look at amps. Yeah, 0, 0.00 amps. So the current shunt in the kilowatt can't actually <laughs> <laughs> register the power so let's just say if you want really really low power uh, and pretty dim LED lights to put in your halogen fixtures these uh, one pound or a dollar forty pound land lights when used in the United States <laughs> will actually will actually work for you um, of course uh, you know, if you've seen Big Clive's videos, if you take them apart and you remove the power supply, the capacitive dropper, you know, the main capacitor, you can just change the value and get something that would be a bit more acceptable for the U.S. and have this run at, you know, whatever brightness you want. You can control that. But, um, yeah, that's... Uh,